I think these were my runes. I think these were my masteries. And I guess this is the build. Enjoy the video. Up, two, three, four. Never underestimate the power of the scout's code. Whoop, wrong video. Uh, what are we buying? Let's get a Dora's Blade, health potion, let's go. Let us go, guys. What's going on? Chris, aka The Soul here. And today, we're going to be playing, um, the female Teemo. That's, that's all Tristana is to me. Dude, I f fuck. I, uh, I bought it. Uh, in case you didn't hear me screeching, I bought the legendary skin and I forgot to put it on, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy right now. Mmm, so happy. So happy. <laughs> Just like Yoshi's so happy. And that's a, that's a reference to Nintendo Capri Sun, and if you don't know Nintendo Capri Sun, then you don't know happiness in your life. You don't know how happy Yoshi is. Yoshi's fucking happy. Like this Kha'Zix right here, I'm gonna make him real happy today. I'll make you real happy today, Kha'Zix. Get over here. Mmm. Be happy. <laughs> Be happy like the Yoshis. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's enough whining. Guys, if you enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like. There will be no more whining going on in this video. There's just going to be carnage. Because we're playing AP Tristana. And AP Tristana had some recent changes to her. Which make her absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate these changes. Um, when you use an ability. While you have your E up. It gives you another stack of your uh, bomb. Of your little mine. So you get an extra stack. Which is more damage. It's easy free damage, especially when you use your uh, R as a finisher. If you use it at the right time and you know how, exactly how much damage you can do. By the way, yeah, I've got, you know, the new masteries as well also do a lot and shit, he did a lot of damage to me, but I think I should be fine. He's playing a die game, alright. Like, <clears throat> we should have the advantage over Tournamere in the early game. Now, if it gets to late game, it's gonna be a little bit more trickier, but we have a couple tools, right? We have our, uh, main, namely our ultimate. Our ultimate is a big deal that I need to remember to use properly in this game because it's an escape, a disengage. There's so many different tools in Tristana's ultimate, and it has a relatively short cooldown, but it's long enough to like, you know, you gotta use it at the right time. If you use it too early or use it too late. You're probably already dead. Just like this Trigamir here. Watch this. Uh, yeah, got him! <laughs> I was about to say that it spoke too soon. Nope. First blood goes to the Teemo. Hell yeah. Alright, so let's, uh... Probably take one more wave. Just kidding, one more CS and now I run away and left. I'm level 4. I should be able to stay here a little bit longer, actually. Kind of push the advantage, make him cower a little bit, give him 3 auto attacks for the Thunderlord's Decree. Uh huh, uh huh, come on. Get over here. Alright. I, wa I wanted to bully him a little bit, give him a little bit of a hard time farming under his tower. But. Alas, it is time to go. I don't want the jungler to be poking his dirty little head over here. We're gonna start off with the Nasher's Tooth. Um, and I want to push as well. All right, we've got we've got the, the Tristana starter kit. A little bit of AP, a touch of AP, some cooldown reduction, some vision, so we don't get our little tiny booty touched, and uh, you know. The snack pack. Kicking ass is hungry work, man. You got you gotta you gotta risk it for the biscuit. I mean biscuits are hella expensive these days. Before potions used to mean nothing to me. Now every time I buy a potion, I'm like, do I really wanna use this? Am I going to use this in my lane? I need to remember to use these potions. They're fucking expensive. Alright, can we get it? Mmm, got it. 
two, three. That's all, okay. <clears throat> Farming with your stun under the tower is something special. I wish the E was a toggle. That's something that I, I really feel like if you can toggle all abilities, but then again, if it's a toggle, then it's not an active, so. Hmm. Okay, so maybe, maybe they could program it so it's a toggle whenever you're not pointing at something, right? So like, you can't E the ground. So if you press E while you're looking at the ground. Hold on. Sup, trend queer. How you doing? Yeah, <laughs> holy shit. It, uh, Tristana's trash talk game. Who wants some? You want some? Come on, let's go! Let's go! Alright. Jesus Christ. I'm canceling my auto attacks like nobody's business. Perfect. And the Thunderlords. Wait, Thunderlords should have proc. I thought, I thought the second proc of that's gonna do it. I guess maybe when you... Um, the E is one proc only. Because when you first put the E on him, it, it's gonna proc the Thunderlords. I'm sorry, the Thunderlord's Decree is just like the most fun spell. It's it's an additional spell on top of all your other spells for free. It's beautiful. Fuck, I missed, I missed the big one. One more auto attack, come on. Yeah, holy shit. That was shit, fuck, nasty, disgusting damage. I don't even care, like, if I don't get any of the CS now, but I'm gonna get all of it, because I rock. Watch this. Mmm! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That was disgustingly gorgeous. That was art. Call me Daydara, because I create art. Alright, let's see, what we got? It's not too bad. We're having a decent early game so far. Um, it's all going according to plan, honestly, because when I pick AP Tristana top, you're like, why not AP Tristana mid? And I'm saying, where's Mastery? I haven't seen him all game. I hope he's not AFK, that would, that would blow. But he's probably not, he's probably just farming his jungle, trying to get level 6. Pro trying to get his Devourer as soon as possible, and then Rage Blade, so he can be stupid OP broken. Yeah, I know about the Devourer Rage Blade, uh, Mastery, but you know why I haven't played him? Because it's not met, it's not break the meta. Everybody's doing it. Cowbell showed how OP it is, and it's just like everybody's just like hopping on that master E dick. I'm not gonna hop on that master E dick. I'm gonna hop on Tristana's dick. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Anyway, so my theory behind AP Tristana top actually being good. You suck. <laughs> mm is the fact that calm down i need to get this guy away from me the fact that you're going against a lot of melees up top lane which gives you a lot of opportunity to auto attack harass them down and it gives you a lot of opportunity to safely stack i'm getting the fuck out damn i don't have enough potions left uh, I'm kind of scared. I think I gotta go. I, I actually have to recall here, which which sucks, but we got rid of his ultimate, and my ultimate's a lot shorter of a cooldown. Don't do it. Oh, fuck it, don't do it! <laughs> Alright, grab a potion. Hopefully he doesn't take my pink ward. If, if he was not paying attention, our pink ward shall be safe. Which I think he wasn't paying attention, because it just, just disappeared just in time. He lost vision of the bush immediately. So, you know, I guess... I guess maybe something good came out of it. Uh, out of that ward disappearing. I might just drop in. Either way, okay, so AP Tristana. Let me talk about the abilities, and then we'll talk about why I think she's good top lane, okay? Um, your Q is auto attack speed. Just... It buffs up your auto attack speed, makes you auto attack faster. That's useful when you have your E stack on somebody, uh, because, you know, you can get more auto attacks off and you can bump, buff up that little mine into being the strongest little kawaii desu little piece of shit that I ever can be. Now, your W, let's, let's forget about that for a second, because your E is your most important ability, um, in lane at least. So your E is your threat, 
it's not directly going to do anything by yourself, but it's a threat. It's like, I have my E on you. My I? My E? I have my I on you. I have my E on you. I am... Okay, no, but seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm probably being annoying at this point. It's a threat that you're, you can do more damage if they don't back off. So if they continue to stay within your auto attack range, you're just going to be able to do more and more damage. That means they need to retreat. So if you put your E on them, they need to retreat from the minion wave. Otherwise, you're going to just auto attack them. That, or they need to engage on you and do more damage than before you do more damage. Shit. <laughs> Alright. Got a little, got a little happy there. But... If you understand what I'm saying so far, that's basically Tristana's E. Tristana's E for every auto attack or spell used on uh, on the enemy character, it's going to do more damage. It, it gives each additional stack does more damage. I can't remember. I think it's like 20% of the AP per spell, which is pretty massive. If you get all the uh, all five or six, I actually can't remember how many procs there are. But if you get all five or six, this is how knowledge I am in League of Legends. Hi, Master P. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not interested in what you're selling. I'm not interested in luxury hair care products, thank you. I'm kind of scared. I just want to farm, that's all. I just want to farm and be happy. Trinomir is like... I can't fight Tremere in this health, though. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away. We almost have enough for Nashers. I feel like I should probably stay. Am I in trouble? Huh. Uh, don't let him auto-attack me. Don't let him auto-attack me. Don't let him auto-attack me. Get away. <laughs> hey! <laughs> fucking Kha'Zix tried to come in there and jack my kill, dude. He, he probably wasn't trying to jack it, but... Or maybe he was trying to jack it all over Trindamir's dead body. Hey, this is a nuts... This is a safe for work League of Legends channel. Clearly when I say jack it, I'm talking about ejaculating. Uh, anyway... I want to see what happens here. Oh shit! Okay, look away. Turn the camera. Cut the clip. Cut the clip. Nothing happened here. <laughs> Only happiness. Oh shit! All right. So what were we talking about? We we're talking about Tristana's abilities. Let me break it down for you. Um, as simple as I can. All right. Put your E on them. If they go aggressive on you, use your ultimate, continue auto-attacking uh, to get the maximum amount of damage on your E. Like this. Just ult them away. Um, if they're trying to run away, use your W. And then uh, you can, you know, you can probably kill them from there. Because if they're running away, they're they're not doing any damage to you. You're probably going to out-damage them. You can use R as a finisher. And that, that's pretty much that. It's pretty simple. The gameplay isn't hard, it's just a matter of can you get those auto attacks off, because in some circumstances, like, I can see something really hard of getting Yasuo, like right now, even coming to gank him, I don't have my ultimate, I wish I did, because that would make the gank a lot easier. So, I don't know if this is going to be successful, but you're going to try it out. But he has a win wall, so there's going to be times where I'm not, I'm just not going to be able to get auto attacks off or anything. Hello. Yeah. Iron Chef Miyamoto! Oh, oh that's my own. Wasaki. Hmm. Alright. Alright, alright, Viger. While you're gone, I shall keep your friend company. I'm my ultimate pretty soon, so. Maybe if I can get that beautiful ER combo going on. That'd be pretty hot, but I think he's gonna back off now. He can smell it. He can smell my sexual frustration over his soft, squishy body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, we got another wave coming up here. Ooh, and it's a cannon minion wave! This is gonna be beautiful. 
Oh, it. <laughs> now you see it, now you don't. I was expecting to uh, be able to clean that shit up, but okay. I, I don't even know if I got all that money. Hopefully I did. Can I get in some of this action? I don't want to use my jump right now. I'm scared! I've got a wasaki behind me! WATCH OUT FOR THE WASABI! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I, I'm- I'm gone. I'm gone! Nope. Mas- it's funny to watch Masji actually going so slow. Ooh! Piece of candy! Alright, it's funny to watch Master Yi when he doesn't have... Yeah, he doesn't even have boots now, so he's ulting, and he's like trying to run as fast as he can, and he's still like going normal movement speed for us, because we have boots right now. So it's pretty funny. Alright, we're gonna grab a Lutens next. You know why? Because I feel like it. I don't know if that's the best next item. No, I'm not building... I know this is gonna be something that people are gonna uh, message me about, and they're gonna talk about. But I'm not building Rage Blade specifically, because AP Tristana honestly does not auto-attack that much. She does not... Auto attack enough to justify a Rage Blade. She's a ranged champion. Melee champions I prefer with Rage Blade because you can... Uh, Lucian was fine because he has a two hit passive, right? You use an ability, you hit somebody twice. Y you've already gotten your passive stacked in like your full combo of hits. Now with Tristana, she needs to be sitting there with her gun. She needs to be sitting there and just auto attacking you nonstop. Suddenly, all of a sudden, we gotta start building more attack speed on her. Gotta start worrying about, like, being in perfect position to auto attack her. And all those auto attacks, they're not gonna be healing you. They're not gonna be, like, benefiting you in any way. I'm playing her as a burst champion, not as a... Not as a, uh, what's it called? DPS, I guess? For some reason, I don't want to say DPS is the word I'm looking for, but it pretty much is. Hello. Oh shit. We've got the world's slowest Master Yi coming for me. I'm gonna push him away. You'll never find me, Master Yi. Fuck. 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 Why did I hesitate? Oh, uh, That felt really bad. It's okay. Master Yi flashed down. Every salty summoner's... Like, you used your flash for me, that's something that I never understood. I never understood. You know what, if I'm gonna get a kill, I'm gonna use my ignite, I'm gonna use my flash, I'm gonna use my ultimate, I'm gonna use my every single thing I have. I'm gonna use my fucking... Death Note. I'm gonna write my name. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna write my name into my Death Note. That's, that's not right. <laughs> but... When people say, oh, you burned your ultimate to kill me, wow, what a noob, it's just, it's so confusing to me. Because, like, that's what all these abilities that God has given you is for. I'm coming, baby! There we go. You'll never escape me, charlatan. Except for right then. Just right then. Oh, wait, hello, bye! He tried, he tried, that was that was a noble attempt, and I thought that was a friendly- I thought Ezreal was friendly on our team. Looks like Ezreal is not friendly. Oh wait, we have two Ezreals. There's Ezreal on the enemy team and Ezreal on our team. Okay, this is gonna be- That's gonna be tough to keep track of whose ultimate is who. Both ultimates look the same, I don't know if they have like a highlight over them. It's like... Maybe if you have two Ezreals, maybe one shoots a purple, maybe one shoots a blue. Or, I'm sorry, blue, one shoots purple and one shoots red. I don't know, something like that. Grab the red buff. Viger has a passive, or Viger, Viger, whatever the fuck his name is called. Um, he has a passive that gives him mana regen, and I don't. So, mine. Let's see, how much do we need? Oh, we got it. Nice, they got a turret as well, so... That just makes it even easier. I can afford it even more now. Alright. Um, if I never finished, like, talking about her abilities, it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty straightforward. If you ever played Tristana before, her W is AP, her R is AP, or her, her R... Holy fuck, our Malphite is buff. No, I think rocks are sexy. Personally. I 
might just drop in. I love rocks. But, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, um, we're, we're just gonna <laughs> finish up. Again, once again, 20 minutes into the video. Ah, uh, whatever, who cares. Um, R is a massive, 100% AP scaling, massive bases. It's basically an execute. Basically just deal a shit ton of damage to one target. And plus, on top of that, we got our, we got some extra procs on top. We got our Thunderlord's Decree and a Luden's Echo. We've, I think, I think Tristana has some pretty big titties right now. My Tristana is packing some double D's. No, we're packing the double Z's. We're packing the triple Z. My breasts are as big as a house. And they can support an entire family. Holy shit. That was not a friendly Ezreal. That was a very unfriendly Ezreal. Hostile, bogey Ezreal. It's like playing Super Mario Sunshine. And you see, uh... Metal Mario running around. That's not me, man. Ezra, my team is like, that's not me. It's me, but it's not me. I can't control myself. It's my tw evil twin brother. All right, we're gonna go top lane. Push out this lane. You guys got it. Believe in yourself. Just like our, uh, not. Arthur. No! You were supposed to believe in yourself. And you can make things better. And I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Where you can learn to laugh and play. And get along with each other. <laughs> I, I, I got into that, I'm sorry. Everybody likes Arthur. If you don't like Arthur, you're a Nazi. <laughs> Are you looking at the chat right now? I love when shit like this happens, when people accuse me, Oh, you're not the real soul. You are clearly an imposter. How could you possibly try to impersonate my, um, my greatest fan? Man, what a baddie. I'm gonna flame him. I'll flame him my video. For being bad. And a nerd. Playing League of Legends for nerds. Right, that's all I got. I'm not really good at flaming. <laughs> like when uh you you guys can probably like take a look at my history of uh, YouTube videos for this but when I made the toxic team composition like the toxic teams I really didn't know what I was doing when I was trying to like flame my team okay so the whole entire point of that one video was we were supposed to all be flaming each other right we were, we were supposed to all be a toxic team composition while we were playing poison champs you get it do you get it because we're all poison champs, so we're toxic. Yeah, we're playing Cassiopeia and Singe and Teemo and shit like that. They're all toxic champions anyway, like Singe and Teemo. Hell, maybe even Cassiopeia's toxic champion. I don't know. But all I know is I am scared. Go away. Come against some other day. Peace, bitch. Oh, shit. He got fucked on. I, I'm trying to desperately remember what I was talking about before Yasuo came into my life and then disappeared as quickly as he came. But either way, we gotta stop Trinomir from split pushing, and this is pretty much gonna be the difficult position that we're in right now. Like, we're ahead, but I kind of fear for this game because they have Yasuo, they have Trinomir, and they have Master Yi. All of these champions can very easily kill me. Um as well as split push efficiently. So, if they do what they really need to do with the, in this composition, and they just kind of like split all the lanes and try to have people 1v1 them, in 1v1s, they're gonna come out ahead. So if they split us apart, we're just not gonna be able to do anything. Uh, I'm gonna continue pushing top just a little bit more. Wait for Ezreal to come back. Just keep trying to keep the pressure on so they don't push any one lane in particular. Or if they do push mid, then I have the opportunity of, okay, I'm gonna respond with, you know, the same tower top. Kinda have them have to make a choice right now. But we need to all stay alive. And that's why I'm going for the Zanyas next. 
because I want to I want to stay alive in team fights. I don't want to get instantly taken out by Master Yi or one of the other thing. Like it would be a lot nicer and it very easy to build AP right now, but it's not smart at all. It's just more important for me right now to have the ability to stay alive and uh, be able to, you know, get my cooldowns back maybe or reposition myself accordingly. And I think we should be able to get a pick here on... Damn, he dashed right through me. But we should... Oh, piece of shit. He's a slippery little bugger, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Alright. Are we gonna take him out? Of course, Trinomir is split pushing, so I need to keep my eye on Trinomir. And it's kind of the frustrating frustrating predicament that we're in that if we leave and we group up, if we group up together, somebody is going to be split pushing. Oh shit. Get out of there, dude. Why why did he I don't understand why he went back in. Like he really didn't need to. We, we could still have a Kha'Zix on our map right now. Unfortunately, we don't. This is fine. It's so satisfying whenever I'm able to make that happen. Alright, so Trinomir is not going to be here. The only person I'm really afraid of is probably... Because I have my ultimate backup. It's probably Yasuo. I, I can probably handle everybody else. So, it looks like they've all made the choice to go top or uh, mid lane. I am going to hope... That's not doing nearly enough damage, and now I'm kind of scared. If Master Yi comes, I'm now in danger. I don't have my E up. Alright, come on, come on, guys. Thank you. No, sir, you are not allowed. Where is Master Yi? Am I missing him? Oh, Master Yi just died. I don't know, he was mid lane, I guess. Am I too late to the party? No! <laughs> I'm coming in, boys! Don't get this party started without me! Did I get it? That should be a kill. Fucking heal, okay. Or better yet, maybe he might have just, like, pressed E at that point. All of that sucks. I might as well have just gone for the Ezreal. He's soft and squishy and blow upable. <laughs> Uh, either way. I tried to go, like, for the easy uh, Tom Kench, which I thought would be easy, but apparently he's a lot tankier than I thought he was. Or I just don't do enough damage, as I thought I would do. But, Zhonya's is coming up really soon, that's gonna be useful. All I need to do to get it is to kill my own kind. And that's fine. Gotta put them in their place. Know your place, little wolves. I'm the big dog here. Alright. So now we shook up our little brothers for money. Just just held them up upside down, grabbed their quarters. And now we're gonna grab Asanya's. Thanks, friends. And like clockwork, here comes Trinomir. And he's just gonna be continuing doing this all game long. It's gonna be super annoying. I've had so many games like this. I'm gonna push him away every single opportunity I can. I do not care. If it's a long 50 second cooldown, he is not going to get more damage on that tower if I have something to say about it. Because if I just let him sit there and auto attack it, he can sit there, auto attack, use his ultimate, run away. Mm -mm. No. I'm just going to push him away to start off with. So he's going to, if he wants to approach this tower, he needs to do it a second time or I'm going to be auto attacking him again. Alright. Jesus Christ. I have to take care of both mid lane and top lane? This is impossible! You can't have me go against Yasuo and, uh, and Tridomir all by myself, guys. Please. I am only one. Look at this shit. They better be getting, like, hella towers right now. Uh, AP Tristana, the best tower defense NA. Alright, at least I got my ultimate again. He's, he's not coming here. He's, he wouldn't dare. Oh no, that is not good. 
everybody died? Enemy double kill. What the fuck? This is gonna suck so bad. Go away. God, this blows. I said go away! <laughs> Alright, so at least bottom lane, we can give them that. We can give them the bottom lane. I'm, I'm, ah. Uh... Okay, is he not gonna push? Our, our allies have now respawned, so panic mode is over. I was freaking out a little bit. I really want this game. I really want to uh, get this game because there were some pretty awesome moments in this game. I don't want to lose it. So we need to win. We need to win, fellas. And I'm going to do everything I can to win this game. Alright. Let's go back to base. Um, grab ourselves... What is our next item? It's either a Rabidons or a Void Staff. So, I mean, they both have the same component. So I'll just, I'll just keep these for now. Just making sure my team, team is aware of these circumstances. We need... By all measures, we need to stay alive. If we die recklessly... When, when did this guy get fed? He has many coins next to his name. You know, the uh, the coin system next to the name is actually very reminiscent of the old RuneScape like bounty hunter system. Like the very first bounty hunter that they introduced. I like it, it's pretty cool. Oh god, that almost snipped me and it would have stopped me from uh, stopping Trinomir from pushing. Go the fuck away! <laughs> it's actually pretty pretty awesome every time that I can do that. Alright, now we're gonna need to... Uh, it's kind of an awkward engage. We got rid of one person right away. Can we grab the Kench? Mmm... Get me in there, coach! Fuck! Kill him! No! I should've used my Zhonyas! And now they're both dead! They're both dead to me. <laughs> Alright, so it's, uh, Viger versus Trinomir, which actually, Viger should be able to stay alive, okay. It's just unfortunate that we're going to be staring at this competition for like 40 seconds here. 40 entire minutes. 40 days and 40 nights that we will not know what's going on. Or we will not be able to interact with the game. Yeah, unfortunately. There's nothing we could have done about that. And that's the fun of playing against three hyper carries. What? Hold hold on. He has a frozen heart. He's full tank. Why did he flash with full health against the, the turn to bear? God. Damn it! I'm sorry, my ass is not done laughing yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is an interesting game right now. <laughs> Ouch. I feel like I always get hit by those. In one way or the other, I'm just always walking towards it. Are we doomed? I think everybody died already. It's time to leave. We had absolutely nothing to offer that fight because it, it started not by our terms. We need to fight by our terms and we're just not getting that. And Yasuo has a GA right now. Wow.
Wow. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have to buy home guards and I can just like have them. Alright, friends. Damn it! I didn't use. I could have sworn I was pressing my A2. It should have used Zanya's. I don't want the game to end like this. Not like this. Are we? We have some people spawning in a few seconds. We have three people to defend, and it's only it's only little Trinomir. We can do this. We can do this. We can survive a little bit longer. This is not the end of the game. They only have two inhibitors on us. Oh jeez. Okay. Rabidons. Or yeah, I'm 300 gold away from a. They don't have that much magic resist, but. I still might go for the Void Staff since it's late enough game that they might just passively build up a decent amount of mag magic resist from their, uh, from leveling up. You know, everybody's level 18. I don't know how the math works. I still feel like the Void Staff is a better option. But if you are a mathematical whiz, feel free to let me know. I know against Yasuo he does have magic resist. So he's the only one that has magic resist that I can see. Yeah, everybody else is just pure AD. Or, you know, like, Tom Kench is tanky, but... Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, this is either gonna be... You're never you're never gonna see this ever. Or this is going to be... One hell of a game. Because if we're gonna win this game, we're gonna have to defend for so long. First, first things first, we need to get the inhibitors back, so we need to, we need to, it's kind of fun to play this game mode, because when you're on your back foot, when you're this much in your back foot, but you know you're still strong. We're still strong because we have a massive Viger, Viger, whatever, we have a massive Viger, we have Ezreal, we have Kha'Zix who can assassinate people, we have me who can assassinate people, um, and we have Malphite, who's good at setting people up, and you have to keep in mind, Malphite is, why do I always catch all those? Malphite is numero uno at shutting down hyper carries. So we have the tools that we need. We just need to defend for long enough. The reason that fight went bad, the one at Baron, is because we were all at half health already. We were already half health from poke. And, um... You know, obviously, all mastery needs to do is just come in and Q and just start running around, auto attacking people twice, and just be like Q Q Q Q Q Q Q all over everybody. All right, everybody's doing the tower defense. That's good. Everybody's working as a unit. I like it. I like it. It's pretty sexy. What do we got going on over here? Oh shit! Oh shit! And this, and he is just making my AP Tristana look bad. He's looking my, he's making my baby look bad. Guys, I guarantee you this isn't my fault. It's not my fault because I'm playing AP Tristana. They just got a really good team against it. But if we win, it'll be even more impressive. So let's do this, let's win. Holy shit, get away, get away, get off him. Uh... Whoa! Explosion! And they got Baron at some point. Did I miss that? When did that happen? They just got Baron, okay. That was, that was weird. <laughs> it showed the Baron Nasher, uh, buff before it showed that they got Baron Nasher. I think that's probably, like, a... Um, visual thing that, the, or something that they did so people don't know exactly when they got the Baron buff. But, awesome. So now we gotta defend against Baron as well. This is fine, we can do it. We've, we've gone through tough shit before. It's like, we've got some Attack on Titan shit going on because you got these massive minions coming up and we've gotta, we've gotta pull, where are these tiny little guys? Tristana, Viger. Fucking Ezreal, I guess, is small. He's a small boy. I don't know. But 
he looks like he comes from the anime Attack on Titan, so it's perfect. But then again, Ezra has to fight himself. Shit. I don't know if he's ready. Is he ready to take on his greatest opponent himself? Stay tuned to find out in another episode of Dragon Ball Z! Oh man, the split. The split push game. What do you guys want to do? You want to come into the base? You got to pay to play. $10 admission, plus the price of popcorn. And no, you cannot bring your own food into the popcorn place. Uh, or into the <laughs> popcorn place. You cannot bring your own popcorn. I need people. There is no way I can handle that guy by myself. Zero ways. Oh, here he comes. Has the fight begun? Alright, this is gonna be a catch on Tom. I'm gonna kick this guy away. Or actually, Malphite's already getting it started. And I don't know why he's attacking Malphite when Malphite is a big, like a big rock bonehead. Alright, they did manage to get one inhibitor. However... Wait, hold on. Don't get the don't get the second one, please. We need that one. We need that one for sex appeal. Okay. So, here's the thing. If they continue to throw their lives away at us, we might actually like we can just farm all these waves. They push all the waves to us, and suddenly we're stronger than them because they just keep dying to us instead of actually killing any of us. So as long as none of us die, we will be fine. We just need to not die. I don't have enough for my big sword, or um... My uh, needlessly large rod. So, I'm gonna grab a pink ward, I'm gonna place it somewhere useful. The most useful place I can think of is over here. Because I really don't know where to place wards. Hey look, I found a thing! You guys can take care of it. Did they get- oh, uh, they got the dragon, that's fine. Um... The major things that are the problem is when we are stuck in the base, we don't have access to uh, the objectives. Nice try, guy. We knew from last time that his ultimate has already still down. Because he's not AP Trinomir. Uh, grab our big rod. Alright, now we're getting on towards the Rabidons, and once we get a rap Fuck, I keep catching every single one of those! It's pissing me off! <laughs> ah, I'm so mad. I'm gonna get him. One of these days, I'm just going to grab him, and I'm going to strangle him with my tiny arms. Holy shit, this game has been 43 minutes so far. Get over here, Ezreal! I'm going to strangle you with my tiny arms! Fuck you, Ez! Yeah, I did it. Oh, I thought he was gonna ult in. Awkward. Uh, whatever, I got Ezreal, I'm happy. Now I gotta stop Master Yi. Just kidding, let's kill this guy first. I can't stop Master Yi. Uh, when I think about it, I don't have Zhonya's, what am I going to do? Alright, we got people on the base. Did he? Oh. oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna be chill. I'm gonna be chill. <laughs> I'm leaving, I'm sorry. Get out of my face. Alright, I hope, I hope, uh, I hope Master Yi is dead, because if he comes to get me right here, I'm gonna be salty as fuck. PLEASE! Yes! Yes! Uh, that being said, Malphite somehow died. And we have two inhibitors down again, so we gotta play the defense game. Once again. But this time we have two people dead, and they have two people dead as well. Around similar timers, Malphite's not gonna be up for 40 seconds. 
Um, Baron's up in a minute, so at least Malphite's going to be up for Baron. That being said, I really don't think we're going to have enough pressure to get the next Baron because we don't have any inhibitors. So it's really all going to come down to can we team fight them with Baron as they're coming into our base with one tower left on our Nexus, one tower left on our inhibitors, and a bunch of minions beating down on our face. Can we do it? Can we pull it off? Now, I gotta say, I'm loving Kha'Zix's adaption to his build right now. Oh. I'm useful, trust me. It's okay, my ultimate's gonna be up in 40 seconds anyway. But... This actually relieves a lot of pressure off us, because number one... Can we do it? AP Triss isn't so good. Wanna see the fireworks? This guy. I don't have the time. I ain't got the time to respond to this shit, but. I I'm sorry, I just don't got the time. I don't care. I'm too busy winning the game right now. Alright, they are going for the Baron. They just got it. I feel like we probably could have defended that Baron, but... Bring on the bad guys. I mean, we pretty much we pretty much expected... It's, it's not that big a deal, because we pretty much expected to have to deal with this anyway. I'm just kind of sad that we had an opportunity not to. And, uh, we kind of decided to do it anyway. It's, it's strange. Life is strange. The game. EA games, put in the game. Sports. I didn't get hit by the Ezreal ultimate, I'm so happy. Ah, <laughs> oh, just like the Yoshis. So happy. Yeah, he has a point about the base, I guess. Some sometimes sometimes I'm really, really, really YOLO about the Baron. So if if you've ever gone to my stream. It's it's pretty it's pretty much a meme on my stream the the Baron throw, the the world famous Baron throw because I always drag my teams into Baron fights that lose, and I would have to say that would probably be the number one cause of me losing rank games because I'm basically Dignitas. All right, what's going on, Tremere? I see you peeping at the tower. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> I like how he's just spinning away. He's like. Whoop, 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 whoop. So like he's at first spinning away and then he just spins away and propels even further away. No. No, go away. Good job team. Good job team. Good shit. Getting that defense game on. I'm loving it. Call me Ronald McDonald cuz ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Let me get on some of this action. I want to play too. Yeah, nice. Alright, Menseljin. I believe now is our chance. And I didn't get hit by another one, nice. Now is our chance to get an inhibitor and actually start fighting back. Hey dude! What's up? <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Please, please, please. Alright, we only lost one person, that's fine, I'm okay with that. We lost Malphite too. I don't think they can actually, um... I don't think they can stop us from taking inhibitor at least. Just one inhibitor is all I want. Can't be too greedy. But can we though? Because like, Yasuo is the only one coming up, so maybe we can force a finish. I'm basically just going to respond to their movements. So if they start leaving... Yeah, everybody's leaving. Okay, it's time to bail. This is the most important part of a late game game. When you are going this far in, everybody needs to be on the same page. You can't have one person going one way, one person the other way. 60 minutes... Oh, 60 minutes. Yeah, 60 minutes. 
Uh, 60 seconds is a lot of time for somebody to be dead. I'm coming in, dude. I don't even care. Okay, never mind. I didn't need to do anything. Gotta love the full AD Trinomir. Oh, dude! The amount of deeps we got right now is disgusting. You're not going anywhere. Bring... How does he have so many shields? Fine, we'll take you instead. No, come back. I feel like a Moo Moo right now. It's like, come back. I want some friends. Okay. I might be getting really greedy right now. I don't have my ultimate. I really shouldn't be going that deep. I do not want to throw over being super greedy. Oh shit, it's coming in now! No, my cooldowns! I'm terrified. Please, 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 please. What? These guys literally killed me in midair. Oh, that's alright. We managed to kill everybody. Okay, that's good. At least there was no Trinomir around. But they managed to kill me in midair because right after my Zhonya's and I'm 75% health, I still died instantly. Shit, man. <laughs> this game's hard. But we got one inhibitor down. So we're seeing progress. That good team fight, dude, I didn't even get to do anything that team fight. That team fight would have been amazing if I was able to knock away the Asuo. But his wind wall timing was just... Disgusting. It completely shut me down, like, I already sent out all my abilities by the time I saw it. My, my abilities were already casted. Luckily, uh, luckily Viger is massive. Ezreal's pretty big right now, and I'm pretty much just playing the role player of when I see somebody, little bitch, cause it stop being a little bitch. Um, when I see somebody out of position, it's basically my job to swipe them up. So I know, I know it. It's. I hope it hasn't been too boring and too long for you guys, but this is literally like the longest, hardest game. And like the best example of a late game Tristana, uh, late game Tristana game you're ever going to see. Like, how often do you see games go to late game as AP Tristana? Probably not that often. And I know I might have gotten a little bit lucky with like my team composition, with Viger being just so massive as he is right now. But I feel like I've been doing my best to, you know, stay relevant in this game as well. So I don't know. But either way, I can still 100 to zero most people like squishies but I'm I'm having a feeling maybe maybe we should just like straight up rush the base while they bear and like play those mind games and then they're gonna have to base real quick they, they have to have they have to commit to the Baron and lose their base oh oh fuck they're right here oh fuck you Ezreal I accidentally Zhonya's oh uh, <laughs> Free is free. Okay, so... Oh, he can't do that shit! We're fine! Tremere can't do shit against us right now. He's dead! We did it! We fucking did it! After hours and hours of tower defense, we have done it. Holy shit, dude. This game has given me a semi. And they surrendered. Alright. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This game has been... So exhausting and long and hard and fuck, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. We play games just to have fun and we don't care who lost or won. We don't care what our teammates say. We don't care if we ramble for days or break in the meta on the road to plat. But we go, there's no coming back. So come sit down, relax and laugh and play. And watch all off today, today, 
today. Walks all off today.